Hi kids! Today we will learn how we can conserve and save our environment. So let's start. Kids, our Earth is a beautiful planet with a huge variety of animals and plants. But in recent times, many species of plants, animals, and birds are facing extinction due to various human activities. Various studies show that many plant and animal species are getting extinct at faster rates. And global temperature is rising. Glaciers are melting. And extreme climatic events like earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, and avalanches are increasing day by day. So we need to take care of our environment to save life on Earth. Let's see what we can do to conserve the Earth. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Let's see steps for conserving the wildlife on Earth. Periodic surveys should be conducted to keep account of populations of various species of animals, birds, and fish. Wildlife sanctuaries and national parks should be set up to preserve natural habitats. We should not cut trees or clear forest land for any purpose to save the natural habitats of animals, birds, and insects. Protecting natural habitats of animals by any means is the most important step towards conserving wildlife. Complete restriction should be there on hunting and capturing of wildlife. Export and import of wildlife should be strictly banned, and those caught in such activities should be given severe punishments. Special sanctuaries and parks should be made to protect the endangered species of animals from extinction. Very special monitoring of species should be made, whose numbers are already declining. Everyone needs to be educated about protecting our environment and wildlife. Now let's see some steps that are very important to protect our environment. First is minimize the wastage of water. We should use less water while bathing. Water your lawn only when it's required. Do not keep any tap open when not in use. Use machines for washing clothes only when you have a full load of clothes to wash. Use as less plastic and paper as possible. Give away plastic and paper material in your house for recycling. Prefer earth bags over paper and plastic bags. Prefer fluorescent bulbs as, though they cost more, they save energy and last longer. Try to base your life more on manual work than on machines for everything. Like, prefer to cycle short distances than driving. Prefer to air dry your utensils and clothes than using a dryer. Harvest rainwater for household uses. Do not use things that contain mercury, as mercury is not good for the environment. T temperature of fridge should be between 36 degrees Fahrenheit to 38 degrees Fahrenheit, and temperature of freezer should be between 0 degrees Fahrenheit to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Save electricity by switching off the appliances not in use. Switch off the light fan, and AC when you are not in the room. Plant more and more trees at your home and garden. Plants inside your home not only make it look beautiful, but also makes it cooler and fresh. Spread knowledge to go paper-free. 
All schools and offices should be paper free. Avoid using and buying things that are made from wood, as it can save trees from being cut. Use ceramic utensils in place of plastic or disposable utensils. Make sure the tires on the vehicles are inflated properly, as it increases the life of tires and also saves gas and fuel energy. So, kids, today we learn a lot of things how we and our elders can contribute to save our planet Earth. Now, you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye bye.